Okay, so now we're going to have to pair up these edge pieces. So, like, if we orange blue, orange blue, but they have to be facing the right way. So it's like a three by three. So you can imagine this is the edge. Pretend this was matched up. This would be yellow red. Then we could move it here, and then you can just do it like a three by three. But to get that, we're gonna have to do things. First, I'm gonna pick one of these pieces. Yellow green is my choice. I'm going to have to find this yellow green piece. Put it here. I'm gonna have to bring it over here. But wait a second, this is flipped the wrong way. So we can just put this up, bring this down, and then we can flip it up so it's the opposite way. We can just turn the up layer like this so it's U star. U star. That's see, I, this is the only time we'll ever use it. I'm gonna do it like that, and then that, and then we can match up the rest of it. Like, hey, what is that piece? Okay, so this is the orange yellow. But warning, if you put something like, let me find my orange yellow, my green yellow, green yellow. Some yellow. Not white. Green yellow. Mm, say I had a double bar, because I'm gonna match this up. Oh, ooh, that's a blue yellow. Let me just swap the blue yellow. Okay, so I found the green yellow there, and then I push it up here. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move down double inverted, like. Oh shoot! What the? So wait, let me make sure that's correct. Yeah, we're not going to do down prime, because that would just be useless. It's easier to do like this. So we're going to do that, and match it. Wait a second. All right, let, let me just do something. I'm going to match it up. We like that yellow one, so, but we want to use it as the thing to take down because we can't use anything completely solid with that green yet. So we're gonna remove that off the side, we take it. And then, wait a second, we destroyed that yellow one. So we're gonna put that back. So, what I'm going to have to do, I'm gonna have to put it in the back. Put it back where it came up, like this, right? So I'm gonna put it halfway. I'm gonna bring it up like this instead move it where it should be and bring this back up so we can do like this and then we have not destroyed orange yellow now I think you should pretty much know what to do until there's this little thing I call parity okay so now we have something called parity parity is when you don't have three um, bar, uh, uh, three bars like this, Le you have less than three bars like this, all unsolved, so that means you have, w you have two or below, like this, see, I want to get this piece here, then I want this piece here, then I want this piece here, right? So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to learn the easier parity. Well, we want to learn this parity. So we're off. So we're gonna switch it. So we're gonna switch the pieces around. So this is matched up like this. So you can get it like this. So to switch that, we are going to have to move. This is gonna be in the top layer this time. So we're gonna face this up. We're gonna move it to the right, and we're gonna do L prime double. U two L prime double U two F two L prime double F two R prime double I mean R double 
U two or prawn double U two L prawn double two or L double two and then we have it like this and we just have to flip it around so this is one of the parity cases so we can easily go like this R double two B two U two L double U two um R prime double U two R double R double I think yeah R double U two F two R double F two L prime double back two then you can do R double two and then you have it and we can solve it like a three by three there's gonna be no parity on this like the four by four by four cube so you don't have to see this part me solving the three by three but just in case you want to Cross and then put those corners in the right way. Yellow. Put this in the right way. Yep, and you probably know what I'm doing. I recommend you should skip through this and just be proud. Um, solve it like the three by three. Be proud. Tell your parents whatever. But if you want to see this, I'm happy. Cause I bet nobody will see this. <laughs> right. Let's find out. Ooh, I hope it may take a few times, but I hope you remember all this. It's not that hard to remember once you get it stuck in your head. Then you'll say, <laughs> five by five, easy as cake. That's what I think. You know, the world's just like that. You, you won't even have to say it out loud. That's why I had to do it slowly, because I had to remember. This is, and you know, right because my fingers just know it by heart okay so after your fingers get used to it you can it okay. mm. you, like you, you would you won't have to say like f2 l b8 whatever <laughs> you your finger will just say oh like then like this but I used to say it out loud to help me. Maybe you should, but it's like the world, right? Sorry, it takes me so long, but if you're still listening to this, I will subscribe to you. Say, say I, if you say on a comment, I am listening to it. I am listen. I listen to the whole video, and I will subscribe. To you. So wait, I'm gonna have to pause the video, put it back on. Sorry, I can't tell very really fast when I'm being a chatter mouse. So I have to think. Wait, this goes in. Yeah, you know everything like that. So the five by five is solved, and that's how you do it. Right? So, if I helped you, thank you. And please comment, rate, and please, please subscribe.